browning. What did browning do? Browning gave us um, browning gave us a, a a a settlement into the into the mobile middle class. He was from a merchant class, uh, a merchant population. Uh, his his ancestry was old and not er, uh, not aristocratic, old and not not farm tenant based. Uh, so he brought in a whole he. What was great about the group and Lee, this is all based on Lee Hunt, is, is that he was able to get this whole group of definitely different origins together under one roof and together as a population, together as, as sharing, sharing the industry of, of writing, of, 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 of the language of romance. And, um, and so Robert Browning gave the, brought in the, the middle class concepts as well as the academic, because that's what he truly was, was an academic. Um, and he too uh, was a prolific writer, not as, not as prolific as Keats or, or Burns, but in, the, in the, about the 2500 mark in, in, in materials. So I'd like to bring, who, who's coming up to do Browning? Carol, are you reading? Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, Rob. Okay, well, Rob. Well, I'm going to start off with actually Elizabeth Barrett Browning, Robert Browning's wife. Um, she was a Barrett, a very well-known family and very uh, wealthy family. But her father did not uh, take lightly to her falling in love with anybody because he was very much a control freak, shall we say, and kept her pretty much a prisoner in her own home. So finally, she broke away from the house and ran off with our friend, Mr. Browning, got married, and they lived happily as a couple. And she wrote this poem. This, po this poem is uh, uh, 43, poem 43 from the sonnets from the Portuguese. Of course, many of you probably know this already. <laughs> How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. I love thee to the depth and breadth and height my soul can reach when feeling out of sight for the ends of being and ideal grace. I love thee to the level of every day's most quiet need by sun and candlelight. I love thee freely as men strive for right. I love thee purely as I turn from praise. I love thee with a passion put to use in my old griefs and with my childhood's faith. I love thee with a love I seem to lose with my lost saints. I love thee with the breath, smiles, tears of all my life. And if God choose, I shall love thee but better after death. And Robert wrote. Like <laughs> Sorry, what? So it like it's a little, little tiny ditty here. The years at the spring and days at the morn, mornings at seven. The hillsides dew pearled, the larks on the wing, the snails on the thorn, God's in his heaven, all's right with the world. Thank you. Robert Browning uh, was chiefly the reason behind Child Roland to the Dark Tower came, which is um, the uh, which is basically the basis for Stephen King's modern novel, uh, the, Doc, the Dark Tower. Um, so we talk about the origins of science, science fiction. We talk about the origins of, of poetry. We talk about the origins of good versus evil 
and evil versus good uh, within that paradigm. And we talk about the true lustful nature of humanity. Um, and that's what these particular individuals brought to, uh, brought to the modern age and has continued on to the modern, modern age. Anyways, so I'm going to close out with thanking uh, the Blueberry Patch for allowing us to be here. Uh, also, I'd like to thank our, our guest speaker, Rob McCabe, for uh, joining us this, this afternoon. Um, of course, I'd like to thank Kurt Thompson for doing all of the things that he does so well, uh, and Martha Muzzy for being Martha. Okay, we're done. Tijan, Tijan, this dreams where you belong.